So I sat down this past weekend and wrote down the, um, the list of mods I wanted to do to this car. And it came down to, my next mod really came down to intake or uh, window tint. And I just decided to just pull the trigger and get the intake. And there are a couple intakes that you could purchase for the 9th Gen Hunter Court Sport. And I think and the three that I've seen was the Takeda, just AFE, k and and Ingen. And um, the intake that I'm probably leaning towards is the Takeda. I'm um, just reading the reviews on the forums, reading the reviews uh, on, on YouTube, actually watching the videos. It seems like you know, it seems like a pretty quality, pretty good quality intake, and they sound pretty decent. So. Um, and I've talked to a couple people that have had different types of intakes. One had a Takeda, one had the Ingen cold air intake, and they said that they do sound different. I think the Takeda is the loudest one, um, and a lot of people have been raving about that. It sounds like the old K20, um, how an intake sounds on the K20 on the RSX um, back in the early 2000s and mid 2000s. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase the Takeda short arm intake, and um, after that I'll just go from there. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do an install video, uh, not a detailed one, just, you know, just a quick, like, unscrew here, unscrew there. So just a quick install video, and I will make videos before and after of how the motor sounds and how the intake sounds. And I was going to do the, uh, I was thinking about doing a dyno and posting it up, a stock. 2015 Honda Accord Sport, uh, well, how much they dyno, but um, I just don't know, you know, this is my daily car, I really don't care about how much horsepower I gain with the intake, you know, some people swear that you do gain uh, quite a few ponies, I mean, I'm not going to doubt it, but, you know, a lot of factors come into play where, you know, humidity, um, temperature, especially with an intake on an NA car, it, it's, you're going to get plus or minus a few horsepower and a few torque so not too worried about it so that's what i was thinking about maybe doing a dyno but eh, i'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a butt dyno review of the intake and um you know let you guys know if i recommend it or not and some people actually have talked about it has helped with the miles per gallon um which with a hot air intake warm air intake i could see that happening just with warmer air um you know improve it a little bit but we'll see i mean you know i monitor my uh fuel economy in this car uh, every time i fill up so after about four to five fill ups i'll let you guys know if it has improved it uh, but we'll see but um that's about it guys uh until next time i did forget to mention that during my install of the intake i am going to be doing a maintenance mod i didn't mention this before in my previous videos um when i was uh, when i had the evo and I was just talking about the importance of doing maintenance uh, modification before you actually <clears throat> modify your car. So what I'm going to do is add the uh, oil separator to my car and filter out any of the uh, deposits going back into my engine. Uh, I don't know if you guys are too familiar with direct injection motors, but with direct injection motors, they have been tendency of carbon buildup. And on the forums, they said Honda had um, figured out a way where it didn't it did not, uh, they do not uh, have a lot of carbon buildup in their cars, they solved the problem. But um, there's no proof, it's just speculation. And people just say, oh, Honda's so great that, you know, they came in the game so late, they've did, done research and blah, blah, blah. But uh, I'm gonna check for myself, see for myself, and um, we'll go from there. I know direct injection motors did have a lot of problems back in the mid 2000s, uh, especially with German cars, where a lot of carbon buildup uh, occurred and this was <clears throat> with a lot of force inducted cars. So um, we'll see. And um, yeah, I just wanted to add that, just to let you guys know. And I'll probably do an install. Hopefully, I might do it all at one time or I just might install the intake and um, install the uh, oil separator um, later down the road, maybe like a week later or something. I uh, just wanted to get the right one, correct one uh, for my car. So, um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. All right, next time.